Welcome to another instructional video. Today we'll be talking about Operations Commander and how Lessons Plate Recognition works. To answer the question, how does information flow back and forth between various devices and systems within OpsCom? Let's have a look at how permits are purchased or assigned to in order to understand how data enters the system to start with. Permits can be assigned by admins through the OpsCom web application. Patrons can also purchase permits online through the use of the user side interface. Patrons can purchase temporary parking via the text to park me functionality that works through SMS technology. This feature uses cellular data connection to send requests to OpsCom. Patrons must have a valid credit card in the system in order to purchase temporary validation through text to park me. Permits can also be purchased at pay by plate terminals. The record of these purchases are sent into the system via wired network internet connections. Operations Commander has the ability to use LPR to collect and input data into the system through a number of methods and devices. Fixed wired cameras, mobile cameras, handheld tablets, and handheld smartphones. This presentation describes these methods and how they communicate through the use of cloud computing to facilitate collection of data as well as simplify the process of validating existing permit records within the OpsCom system. Once permits are in place, this is where LPR comes into play. Let's have a look at a typical lot and how fixed cameras work. Vehicles are chalked as they enter the lot via fixed wired cameras. Plates are read through character recognition, photographed and time stamped at the time of chalking. Permit holders can go ahead and park at this point. If the user does not have a valid permit, there is a grace period where the user has time to go to one of the pay-by-plate meters and register their plate. The grace period also allows time for the pay-by-plate terminal to send the record of the purchase to the system. A record of the plate registration is sent to OpsCom via the cloud and in turn disseminated to all handheld units in the field. Vehicles are also tracked as they exit the lot via fixed wired cameras. Let's have a look at how mobile works. Mobile cameras allow patrol officers to drive through the lot scanning plates as they go. The cameras are connected to the OpsCom plate reader. The plate reader has the ability to connect to the internet both through Wi-Fi connection as well as via cellular data. Here we see a vehicle equipped with mobile cameras driving through the lot scanning and chalking plates as it goes. An audio signal will sound to indicate valid permit holders, non-valid vehicles, as well as questionable reads based on the plate number being scanned. This information is sent to the OpsCom system through cellular data or Wi-Fi hotspots positioned throughout the lot. As a camera captures plates, it automatically chalks and timestamps. Plate reads that are valid are flagged with a green rectangle. Plate reads without a valid permit are flagged with an orange rectangle. Plate reads with a permit but that are not valid in the specific lot being patrolled are flagged with a blue rectangle. Let's have a look at handheld units, such as phones and tablets. Using Android tablets and phones, officers who patrol on foot can scan plates and issue violations. Plate numbers can be entered by typing them in, spoken through voice recognition, or by using the tablet's camera to capture the plate. Similar to the mobile patrols, officers can scan plates using the handheld units where they can see details about the vehicle in question and determine if the vehicle owner has a valid permit. So how does all this information get communicated within the system and how do we ensure all devices used for enforcement have the latest data? Data is stored in various places within the system. It's important that this data is shared to all devices connected to the OpsCom system. Let's have a look at how this information is synchronized to allow up-to-date data being available not only to the admins in the head office, but to patrol officers as well. Wired and Wi-Fi network communication feed information into OpsCom from mobile patrols, foot patrols, 
as well as pay by plate meters. The same is true of cellular data if devices are equipped, as well as text to park meter requests from mobile phones through SMS technology. When a sync is performed, information gets pulled into OpsCom as well as being pushed back to all devices. When a sync is performed from a handheld unit, you can also use Wi-Fi or cellular data to push data up to the cloud and into OpsCom. Any updated data in the OpsCom system will be pulled down to the devices at the same time, keeping both systems in sync. The same is true with the plate reader system. It synchronizes with the system through Wi-Fi and cellular data. All these methods make up the system communication and allow LPR to interact with the OpsCom system. For more information, please visit our website.